Back then, friendly games were taken seriously. In fact, this was a very important friendly game between Brazil and Germany. This is the Brazilian team that won the World Cup in 1962. And uh, during the national anthems, the players were very serious. Let's see a bit of the national anthems before we begin the analysis. The game began very fast. The players are not letting the opposing player pass them. They are running toward them right away. They are not giving them any space to dribble and come to the. They are not giving them any space to dribble and come to the goal area. An adversary player takes the ball right away and go. When you make a little mistake, they take it away from you right away. And look at how this German player does here. He's rushing already. Here the Brazilian goal. Very good passing and precise on the German side here. They don't give you space. The defending on the Brazilian side in this game was very good. So was the Germans. But the Brazilian one was better. And I would say this is a pretty good free kick because he, he was aimed toward the goal, he was going toward the goal and if the keeper did not reach in the right side, he could have gone it. When the German player shoot, he tried to aim it at the head of his teammate. So he knew what he was doing, he, he wasn't just shooting. He, he would have a little more space, he could have headed it and maybe he would go in or the keeper would have saved it. Oh and look at that turn, that's fabulous but the Brazilian player did not give him any space. We could say that all the Brazilian defenders were working very hard so that the German players don't pass them. Good. Yeah. Wow, wow, and look, this is one of the most amazing plays in the game. When he shot it, he aimed it right at the, his teammate. He does a bicycle kick and try to score here. This is amazing. The bicycle kick was fast too. This is fabulous. Look, this is one of the best bicycle kicks I've ever seen in a game. And plus, he shot it so far and with so much power. This is amazing. And that ball was heavier than the balls nowadays. And these are good controls by the Brazilian players. And they were doing tiki taka in the air. Look how they are passing to each other in the air. It's very precise. See what I was saying? Whenever you are not careful, you make a little mistake, the opposing player takes the ball away from you. He was aimed towards the goal, he was going inside, but the goalkeeper kicked it out with his uh, hand. And the passing that just happened here, I would say that it's not a very good passing. This is maybe one of the downsides in the game. The passing, this passing is not really good. See, the Brazilian player was trying to pass to the Brazilian player here on the right, but he made a mistake and the ball was very weak and the ball did not reach him, so he, the German player took it. So far, we can say that this is a pretty good game. There are not many bad passing except for this one. Ooh, and these were not just good passing between these two German players, but the German player, when he got the ball back, he done straight. So you see, he put his leg out and back, out and back, that's pretty good, this is like a show. 
and this was a very good passing through and passing back and again if you can see here there is a very good control on the German side the way they are passing to each other they are controlling the ball very well they are not losing it and again and again another good play but the Brazilian players are not giving them space to pass them see what I was saying most of the time when the Brazilian players are passing they are doing it very well when the ball goes in there they still keep it they kept a look with how they pass to each other and these, all these five players in the middle when the ball is going up they control lower and pass to each other this is very good the, all the Brazilian players were doing that that's amazing wow and look at this lovely pass by Pele he just he just put it he just put it little he did not do a lot look this is very good this is a genius this was a genius play smart play and the control was very good here and when they pass back to each other the last player to get the ball shot it right away he, did, he turned so fast to shoot it that's amazing Pele oh and and I don't need to say anything about this play by Pele the commentator's reaction says it all and when the Brazilian player tried to tackle him here, the, the, German, the German player jumped with the ball here. He made a very good decision to go on the right and he kept going. This is very good play. Wow, if the Brazilian player did not rush fast on the German player, he would have scored or have made a pass and they could have scored here. This is a very good defending by the Brazilian player. These are very fast players, they're not lazy at all. And some fans now they say basketball was slow. I don't see any problem with uh, slowing in this game. This is a very good game. The only different thing here is the footage here, it's black and white. And now there's a penalty for the German players. And this was a decent penalty. The German player relaxed and just kicked it in the goal. As you can see here, the referee was ensuring that the ball was at the correct place before he shoots it so it so it's fair so this that demonstrates that the professional games back then were just as serious as today you have to follow the rules it's not taken for granted because it's a friendly game this is a very serious game this is Jorgen Werner he was one of the best players of Hamburg team back in the 60s back then Hamburg was like uh, the Bayern of today it was a big team in Europe he played against Hamburg and he, he was destroying this player this exact player The Brazilian player was mad here. If you notice, the Brazilian player kicked the ball in the air. They are not happy because they are losing. And from this, you can just know that these people they love football so much. They actually care and they want to play and win for Brazil. They don't want to lose. They are so much into the game. This was the first half and now the first half is done. Now let's see the second half. Because we have a favorite player now, we try to diminish great players from the past. This is all so far. Oh, and I just saw that back pass. Return with that back pass with one leg. Just kick it back to the player he shot. That's just a beautiful play. Oh, nice to be here by Pepe. This is Pepe, that is part of the PPC. Pele, Coutinho and Pepe. They are Messi of the 1960s. The triple were like Messi, Neymar and uh, Suarez of the 1960s. Even though he was in a lot of pressure here, he shot from the angle and the keeper reached to get it out. If not, he could have gone it. Coutinho passed back to Pepe and Pepe tried to score here. <laughs> Wow, this is a very fast play, a very good play. Just get to the point. It's very, very fast, try to dribble, it's short. If you ask me, this is just a normal game, just like a normal professional game nowadays. I don't see any difference. As I said, the only difference I see is it's in black and white. And this is going to be a beautiful goal by Coutinho here. He got the ball and triple one player and scored. This is a very good goal by Coutinho here. This is late in the second half and they were still 1-1. This shows that this is a very tight game. Usually when the game is tight, it means that the teams are very good. 
see here the German goalkeeper got the ball away before the Brazilian player tried to head it when he was coming on his way he took the ball away if he did not save that he could have gone in the German player could have scored when analyzing this video I'm not being biased here at all the way they are playing here the techniques it tells that they know what they are doing and so whenever they get the opportunity and see a, a player is open they pass to the player right away they didn't wait when it's not the time they keep they kept the ball it shows that they are thinking very well and they are engaged they, they know what they were doing and is this this player they know what they're doing if you can see here how Coutinho gets the ball here and does the trick before passing Mengalvio. Oh, what a fabulous goal by Pele. He took the ball and then he just shot it. He scored. <laughs> he went so fast. So these are two goals on the Brazilian side. One by Pele and one by Coutinho. From what I've seen in this game, to be honest, the friendly games now are nothing compared to the friendly games back then. That's it. Thanks for watching.